what's going on guys welcome back to another video so in this one we're going to go over a two-part episode of how to pistol squat now the first one which is this video will teach you how to prep for the pistol squat so we want to make sure we've got loose ankles we've got a decent amount of dorsiflexion in the ankles and we're also finding it comfortable to pull the knees into as much flexion as possible so for a lot of us that are restricted this exercise can be very uncomfortable so these two videos will really help you to try and improve on your pistol squat right let's get into the video all right so the first exercise is an ankle prep to help us with that dorsiflexion movement in the foot and the ankle so the first thing we want to do is use a wall or a plyometric box to help us measure the amount of dorsiflexion we have on the front ankle so you're going to place your foot next to the wall with your toes touching the wall and then as you start pushing the knee forward, see what your maximum range is. If you find you're touching the wall with your knee, slide your foot back a bit more and try again until you get to a position where you can no longer touch the wall with your knees without the heel lifting off of the ground. Once you find that spot, we're gonna try and work that range by pushing the heel into the ground and trying to force that knee flexion. We want to make sure that the knee doesn't cave inwards when we're pushing the knee forward, which will probably indicate that you're lacking external rotation. And I've done a couple of videos previously that will teach you how to open up your external rotation in the hips. So make sure you go and check those out. Okay, so the next exercise are step ups. So we're going to use the assistance of some plyometric boxes, or you can also use a chair or a table that you've got lying around at home. So to really maximize the step up, you want to make sure that leading leg that you're placing on top of the box is driving forward. So we're pushing that knee as far forward as possible beyond the line of the toes. This will come to help us in the future when we're learning how to shrimp squat as the more knee flexion and dorsiflexion you have in the ankle, the better you'll be going down into your pistol. The next exercise is the box pistol squat. So for this, we're going to use an elevated surface to help us cut the range of motion in our pistol squat. Now, depending on your flexibility of the ankle and your knee flexion, we can choose the height of the box based on that. So we're going to elevate our front leg and keep it fully straight. We want to make sure that the heel is always hovering off the ground so it never fully touches the ground when we're performing the pistol squat. We also want to keep the knee fully locked so that way the leg stays straight and we can engage the quads. For the back leg, we're going to bend the knee and we're going to drive our hips down towards the ground. Now imagine that you're sitting down on the box, pause for a second and then you're going to push back up. We want to drive the hip back up as quickly as possible so then we're building that explosiveness in the movement. Furthermore, we can also make this exercise a bit more intense by holding on to a dumbbell or a kettlebell. This exercise is going to really test out your balance, so make sure that you are comfortable at the height that you're performing the exercise at. And the final exercise we're going to go over is the rolling pistol squat. So this exercise will focus on the end range part of the pistol squat, which is the part where most people really struggle to push off of and stand back up. So for this, I want you to extend your front leg and again, keep it elevated slightly off the ground. We're going to keep the knee locked out again so then the quad is fully engaged. For your back leg, we're going to bend the leg and we're going to use as much momentum as possible by swinging the arms to help us lift off of the ground. Balance the pistol squat on the leg and reverse the movement by lying back down on the ground. As you start to feel more comfortable in balancing your pistol squat, try and see if you can drive more through that back leg and stand yourself up a little higher. Each time you get better with this, see if you can go a bit more upright. And that is pretty much it for this first part of the pistol squat. Test out your pistol squat, see how it feels. And if you've got any questions or you want to let us know how you're doing with the progress, please drop that down below in the comment section. And I shall see you in the next video.